Earlier today, Hunter Biden was convicted of two counts of lying on a form submitted to a federal firearms dealer about his addiction or use of crack cocaine and possessing a firearm while a user or addict. There have been two overarching themes emphasized by the prosecution during trial, this defendant's illegal choices and the rule of law. First, while there has been much testimony about the defendant's abuse of drugs and alcohol, ultimately this case was not just about addiction, a disease that haunts families across the United States, including Hunter Biden's family. This case was about the illegal choices defendant made while in the throes of addiction, his choice to lie on a government form when he bought a gun and the choice to then possess that gun. It was these choices and the combination of guns and drugs that made his conduct dangerous. Second, no one in this country is above the law. Everyone must be accountable for their actions, even this defendant. However, Hunter Biden should be no more accountable than any other citizen convicted of this same conduct. The prosecution has been and will continue to be committed to this principle and to the principles of federal prosecution in carrying out its responsibilities. I want to thank the jury for their service. There are few civic responsibilities more important than jury service. Fifteen Delawareans came to court each day and performed their responsibilities in a professional and conscientious manner. We thank them. I want to thank Derek Hines, Leo Wise, and the entire special counsel team. I am so proud of this group of attorneys, agents, and litigation professionals. This is a difficult assignment. These folks have been working seven days a week for the last couple months litigating a variety of issues in district and appellate courts on two coasts. They have given their heart and soul to this work. They represent the best that public service has to offer. I am incredibly grateful. Finally, I want to thank Attorney General Garland for providing the support necessary to fulfill our mission, ensuring that we have the independence to appropriately pursue our investigations and prosecutions. As you know, we have additional trials and investigative work to be done. So I will not entertain questions at this time. Our work continues.